Massive Attack, Unfinished Sympathy on BBC Radio Gloucestershire. Okay, just gone half past nine then. Music coming up from Maroon 5 and Charlie Puth. And some of our favourite moments of John, who's been my co-host at home tonight in Gloucester. He's from the band Run Yoshi Run. And I said, go on then, tell us about it. How did it all come about? So the band formed um, after the the last kind of series of lockdowns uh, last year or so. Um, We're a covers band, so we play music from 80s, 90s, noughties, um, 60s as well. Um, And generally, yeah, we started playing together um, last summer or so. Um, We're all based in Gloucester. Um, but we've done gigs or, or you know, in Gloucestershire, Cheltenham, uh, for example. We, we try and cho- choose songs to kind of help people give a, give people a lift um, and, and show people a good time. You mentioned coming out, out of, you know, the various lockdowns. Was that a part of the, the sort of decision process then? Was it like, right, we want to do something now? Or what was it about that timing that worked for you all? Speaking to the, the the guys that were kind of in the band, I joined. Uh, I'm the new boy, so I'm, I'm I'm the last one to join. But I think from speaking to them and what they've said in the past, I, I think obviously a lot of people were stuck indoors through large periods of time, um, and I, I think they were all just itching to get something together to to be able to to go out and uh, and put on a good show for people. But it's a, it's a really good you know band to be involved in to. To show those smiles on people's faces from the pandemic that's that's taken a, a, a lot of people's time and, and you know um, being stuck indoors for, mm. for the last couple of years or so. So it's a really it's a really nice thing to be doing, and I'm, I'm enjoying every single minute of it. And the guys are great, you know, love every single one of them in the band. So yeah, it's really fun. So I wanted to know how the name of the band Run Yoshi Run came about. If you love your video games, you'll know it, but uh, we got a bit more info. It's really difficult coming up with a band name. So we we went through about 100. We had funny names like Independent Yellow Hoover. There was a band name one of us suggested that is actually taken called uh, Cliff Rescue and the Helicopters. We just wanted something fun. You know, you, you can kind of pigeonhole yourself in, in what your band name is. And where, if you decide to start playing different types of music, your, your name can somewhat let you down. So I think Claire's a massive fan of, of vintage commuter games. I think the idea came from her. And it, it doesn't really mean anything. It references Yoshi from uh, the old Mario games um, on the NES and the SNES, and today, obviously, as well. But mm. I, I think it's. I think every time we say it or we, we, we tell someone what the band name is, someone says, oh, that's, a, that's, a, you know, that's interesting. What's that about? It always gets a conversation going. It doesn't really, because we do so many different songs throughout the years, it doesn't link to a specific genre as well. It's just mm. a bit of fun. And I think it just encapsulates what the band's all about, really. So, yeah, yeah. it just references a, a, a computer game character, puts a smile on, on most people's faces that hears it. And it's always a good conversation starter as well. So yeah. Yeah, that's why we went for it, I think. And I said, uh, go on, where are you? Where are you co-hosting from? He said, well, I'm by my drums, actually. I've got them around me. They're not set up oh. because my, my two-year-old daughter loves coming in and, and bashing them. Um, she's hopefully going to follow in her dad's footsteps um, one day. I'm very much, she's, she's my um, Daniel son to my Mr. Miyagi. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> hopefully she'll uh, she'll pick up the sticks one day. But no, they're, they're littered around me and, and whatnot in bags and, and stuff all set down at the moment. Do you remember the first time she showed an interest in the drums? It was when, actually, she was... My partner, my partner Dawn, was pregnant with her and I played her some James Brown when she was in her belly and she counted in perfectly in time to Sex Machine. So, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> honestly, and I remember I, was, I, have my, I have my hand on, on my partner's, uh, on Dawn's tummy and she counted perfectly and I was like, she's going to be a drummer. She's gonna be a drummer. It was like it was like it was like the scene at the Lion King, you know, when he calls Simba out on the uh, in front of the plane of animals. But no, she's she's yeah, she's got a pair of drumsticks. Um, but she's it's not me forcing on her. She generally tries to break into this room all the time to to hit things while going bang, bang, bang. So uh, so yeah, hopefully she's gonna she's gonna follow her dad's footsteps. We'll see. I love that. Absolutely love that story. Uh, if you want to check out Run Yoshi Run, they're going to be performing Cheltenham, then the old Estoration. They're doing a gig on the 5th, and uh, they're going to be Harry Cooks as well at the top of the prompt on the 12th as well. Run Yoshi Run, check them out online. Keep up to date on their social media and see what they've got going on. This is BBC Radio Gloucestershire. John Tilt 10, then Kate's here, and this is Maroon 5.